Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some more Endless Space 2. I am Horatio. When we left off it was turn number 7, now turn number 8. And we were basically going around exploring, slowly expanding. Sending our uh, first ship here back to the uh, main planet uh, so we could uh, upgrade it. Um, this reminds me... Uh, we have gotten uh, some names in from our friends here, so we're going to go ahead and start naming some of our systems. For example, our home system. Uh, the first comment goes to Noyo Poyo, Nolo Poyo, Nolo Poyo. That is going to be the name of our system. And uh, do we have any colonized planets? We don't. Um, so we cannot rename any colonized planets. Can we rename our colony, our outpost here? No, we can't. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that one, but um, uh, I do have some additional names. Now, I could go through and I could rename like this fleet here and get somebody else's name in here faster, but I think I'm going to hold off and name them maybe after the system uh, and then like name planets within the system after people because uh, I feel like it's... Um, more like it'd be a more of an honor I guess or whatever like you, you would appreciate it more like if you had something more significant named after you than like an explorer ship so I'm going to hold off on that and uh, I'll get those names in there soon so I could put the hero so I was reading on the subreddit today that uh, heroes gain skills really fast when they're on explorer ships so I could be leveling up our hero by being on this explorer ship. Uh, and then, of course, also help get our ship through faster. But I really do like having them on the system where they are providing uh, bonuses. Like this is going to give us plus one industry and plus one food um, per population, which, you know, is pretty, pretty great. So I think I'm going to leave him in there in the Nolo Pollo system. Uh, so we've done that. Construction complete. Okay, so we've got that cerebral reality complete, and now we have an open slot. Um, so what do I want to uh, uh, what do I want to do next? I don't really need to expand within my system, even though we could colonize any of these. And I, I, did we uh, did we do the ash to where we we can actually colonize it? Sure, would be nice if it would tell me whether. Okay, we're, we're working on it. It would be nice if it would tell me whether we legitimately can colonize these or if it's just part of our special ability. Um, but uh, we're going to hold off on that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and build a uh, another scout ship and then we'll do another industry boost here. Uh, it's too soon, I think, to do a uh, another colony because we have 16 turns until this actually becomes a colony and uh, uh, it would hurt our... Uh, uh, hurt our uh, it's hard to do two colonies at once because it uses food from your original colony to grow the the, the outposts um, and I don't think we could support trying to grow two outposts at one once I don't think there's any danger of anybody coming in and taking this over from us before we get uh, before we get to where um, you know what I'm trying to say before it grows all right looks like we can uh, investigate some thingies here. Let's investigate that. Uh, but I don't want to do it the industrial way. I want to do it with my spaceship's special abilities way. Yeah, there you go. That thing right there. Whoop. And we have dark glitter, which is a luxury resource. Along with Eden incense, another luxury resource. Wow. Wowie wow. A lot of luxury resources on that one planet and um, I believe we can uh, actually access all of those from the very start too probably should be studying the thing that would allow me to uh, allow me to colonize snow planets for crying out loud um, let's upgrade this to the new design which will give us six probes instead of only f four which is real nice um, and it, uh, I don't think it moves any faster though, but still gives us additional probes and we'll send those down there to probe out that system. 
And, um, uh, yep, let's end turn. Now, as the Horatio, we really should be seeking minor, uh, minor civilizations. I'm surprised we haven't run into any yet. Because normally I would have run into a bunch by now. Uh, so, kind of a shame, really. But let's go ahead and probe this thing out. Should be pretty easy. There's only two within this system. More dark glitter. And, um, deciduous trees. All right, well, we've got a lot of luxury resources in our neck of the woods here, which is nice, I suppose. And that also has a, uh, has a uh, strategic resource, too. Hyperium, I think it is, right? Yeah, Hyperium's pretty valuable. We'll be using that, even with the first generation of, uh, of uh, ships there. So we finished the construction of our second scout ship. Get that thing launched. And uh, it's got all the fancy new stuff. Now, did we... Uh, I was going to send out some probes from our system here. And I didn't do it. So let's get those going. Like that. Not really any point in going the other direction or anything. And then uh, we'll send that ship over this way. This one's going to continue on. Now, another thing I read on the forums was that you can send unarmed ships, like this ship is unarmed. Um, you can send unarmed ships through enemy territory and they don't get upset with you. Uh, and if that's the case, that is great, because then we will be able to continue uh, scouting for a really long time with this ship. Um, and uh, that would be real nice if we could manage that. So, more uh, luxury resources. And uh, now we're getting, uh, so we can find our way down to Gene now. And uh, this ship, I guess, is just going to continue on all the way to Ita. And what do we have here? Uh, yep, those things. Yeah, no problem. In turn. First step. Okay, so we can uh, colonize that ash planet now, which... I guess it's good, except we probably should have went for the snow, considering. Uh, but live and learn. Um, now this would allow us to uh, do the buyout. Does it give us access to the marketplace as well? I think this one gives us access to the marketplace. So here we could start actually selling some of the stuff we have. And then with the buyout, we could use that to buy things. And also, basically, we would uh, uh, no longer have to worry about dust, even if we just started selling things, because we have all those all those um, uh, luxury goods that are really not they're not doing anything right now. They're they're pretty pointless, uh, pretty pointless to us. Um, now, what uh, what do we get for? Yeah, we've already opened that up. Now, there's a special. Uh, Just a second here. How do we open up the thing which allows us to upgrade our system development? Economy and trade tech level three. Got it. So uh, we're only in stage two. So we need to unlock. Do we need to? Okay, so it's not. I don't think it's just that we have to unlock it. Or no, maybe it is. All right. So let's. Um, Sorry, I'm, it sounds like I'm talking nonsense here, but I'm not really. Let's go ahead and grab multi-thread management, which will allow us to, to generate dust more quickly. Um, and if we can uh, do that, we can upgrade our systems to level two, which is, uh, which is very beneficial and will also allow us to use up some of those uh, luxury resources that we have that right now are just kind of, uh, you know, they're not very practical for us. Um, Maybe maybe we're not making the most the uh, best possible use of our uh, technology. Like maybe we should be going with the food stuff here or an industry one. No, you know what? I feel pretty good about that decision. I think we are going to go for that. Let's see. So that ship is still coming around the coming around the horn there. 
This one, we're going to send out those probes. Probe that one. That gas planet. Fearful symmetry anomaly and science production. Very nice. Oh, and that gives us an event. Uh, so event, we could get minus five per system on Empire. Increase the scientific, political, and ideology. And get an 80% chance of discovering something. I'm not really sure what the discovering something means. Though, though it looks like it would be something that would allow us to produce more dust. Or I could just get 75 dust, period, and increase the militarist political ideology. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll take the scientific thing. So right now we have eight turns till we get the next uh, the next science. Let's see if this affects us so much that it drops to, oh boy, it dropped to ten turns. So that is... Uh, high price to pay so we've got these two systems over here I'm gonna go ahead and send a probe out kinda like split the difference between the two sometimes you can find new star lanes um, according to what I sort of remember reading when I first started playing this New minor civilization, good. That's what we wanted. Was a minor civilization. Uh, so these guys, the Shargon Unfallen. Oh, they are allied with the Shargon Unfallen. Um, so that means if we, oh, and they're over on this side. So if we wanted to try to uh, absorb them into our culture, uh, we would probably uh, uh, have to get into war with a uh, with the uh, Shargon. Um, Shargon will probably absorb them into their uh, absorb them into their culture before too long. Oh, that's too bad. And the Unfallen are they're the tree people. Mm. And so who is this down here? Is this like the Vodiani or something? Oh, it's the the uh, these guys. Wait. Oh, the Riftborn. Yeah, yeah. So we are, we are trapped in this little area here. That's too bad. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that the starting... Oh, this is their home planet? Why do they not have more influence around their... Uh, Okay, that's good. Uh, why don't they have more influence around their planet? Plus two vision range on the fleet garrison first. That must be this one. Okay, that's nice, I guess. More dark glitter. So many probes. And that one's locked, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and send out a... Uh, Send out a probe that away. Now we'll see what the aliens have to say. Uh, yep, 100% ecological support. Well, it's a uh, it's a dictatorship. So, oh hey, you guys remember how at the end of the last episode that it told that big story, and I started reading it, and then I skipped through it because it looked really boring. Um, I actually went through and read it. Uh, like I paused the video and read what the story was and I should have totally should have read it because it was actually really cool uh, so you know at the beginning of the story there was three um, uh, three Horatio standing around a table and um, the uh, the uh, people watching them like the judges or whatever basically they came up and said only one of you is the real Horatio which one of you is the real Horatio and the narrator the guy telling the story said I'm the real Horatio and then his friend backed him up and said yes this is the real Horatio uh, but he wasn't the real Horatio the, the Horatio Prime uh, uh, was like no no I'm the real Horatio but since the narrator and his friend said that the narrator was the real Horatio they took Horatio Prime and put him in prison so basically 
the the character in this story, or me, I guess, uh, I'm an imposter. I'm not actually Horatio. I'm one of his clones, and one of his clones took over, and then the 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 legitimate uh, actual one is in prison. So uh, I was like, wow, that was pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, it said clones are so predictable. So uh, the guy who knows that I'm not the real Horatio, he's still out there scheming against me, and I need to watch out for him. So, yeah, maybe I'll remember that and actually read the next story. So sorry I didn't, uh, you guys didn't get to enjoy that story because it was pretty well written. And I did not, um, did not uh, serve the, uh, I didn't serve the authors, you know, the writers of this game. I, I, I did them a disservice by skipping over their little story there. Outpost has turned into a colony on Zinnius. Let's uh, let's go check that out. I think I'm gonna have a sneeze first, though. Maybe. Definitely feels like it. Anytime now. Oh boy, I sure did. All right, so we have a quest to uh, backtrack the path of heroes by exploring five atmospheric curiosities. Luckily, we are totally set up to explore curiosities. What is your objective? Oh. Okay, well, I guess uh, I guess they are going to complain I about us you in the name of the four families uh, about us being in their territory, and we've run into the Lumeris, which are like a uh, underwater uh, trading group who also have large chests for some reason. Um, so there we go. Uh, this is our new colony. That's right. So. Um, we will go ahead and rename our planet here as Pig of War. Confirm. That's our second colony. And then our star here, we had our friend Sergeant Firmer dropped in. So this will be Firmer. And oh, look at that. It renames the other planets too. So I guess it's. Um, so there you go. Thank you guys for your comments. I appreciate you enjoying watching the series. And uh, hopefully we get lots of comments from lots of people so I can get a lot of different things named out. The more variety, the better as far as I'm concerned. All right, so we've got a, a good variety of stuff being built there. That means we can go back to our home system here and also uh, set it up. Ah, good. It's just about to finish up the production thing and that will allow us to build another um, colony pod which we can send down to actually we probably ought to send it to Guinea uh, so we can uh, uh, basically block off the uh, block off the expansion uh, remnant uh, minor civilization that's good where are they at interest uh, no this must be them remnants all right and who are these the AI. Now I'm I'm sure these guys are probably. The, I'm sure the the other AI is probably trying to become friendly with these guys, uh, but we're going to spend some of our political points trying to win these guys over. Eventually, they will give us a quest, which we can then use to try to uh, try to uh, absorb them into our uh, culture. Um, oh. Shit, there's another one. Oh, uh, yeah. Hisso. Well, let's go ahead and meet them. I guess we'll throw some praise their way, too. Uh, they have... Uh, so their uh, special power is... Um, uh, they build manpower, which I don't quite get. But they add to your manpower. Great. Done. So a couple of new colonists or uh, civilizations that we've met there. Minor civilizations. Now I believe those guys are the pirates, so they're the ones who are sending pirate ships at us. So they might not be so keen about us coming in and uh, um, uh, exploring their uh, exploring their anomalies. So maybe it may be that you're better off not exploring anomalies until you get the anomaly quest and like just like being ready for it like having a ship parked in a uh, system with five anomalies or something 
because it's going to be a little tricky for us to actually get five anomalies without kind of cheesing off the uh, cheesing off the AI. Uh, but let's see what we can do here. We'll grab the one. Oh, basic fusion torpedoes. That's not bad. Not too exciting, but... And uh, how about I send off a uh, probe? Um, you know what? I want to keep those probes. I want to have them ready to go. Uh, because if I find another system down here, I want to get those explored as quickly as I can. Um, we had uh, Sean leveled up here, which is real nice. That We can use that to get... Um, now this would give me plus 10 on system. You know what? I want that. That's that's better than plus 1 per population because we don't have so much population that, you know what I mean? We'd have to have more than 10 population in one system to really make that uh, the better better balance. Now the plus... Bodiani and our church acknowledge you. Bodiani, wow, everybody is right here on our side of the world, huh? We haven't, haven't really gone out that far yet. I mean, that is sort of distant, but... So we've got the Vodiani, we've got the tree people, we've got those guys. And we ran into the fish people, too, somewhere, so they must be in here or something. I guess that's not too far. And it looks like we just have a disk galaxy. So it's not like we have the arms or anything. I guess it would make more sense. It would be We'd be running into the uh, AI teams. Another minor civilization, the Ganassat. Ganass hats. Um, okay. Let's throw some uh, uh, introductory fins their way. Great. Done. 20% of the galaxy explored. Hey, I just, just pulled out to see how much of the galaxy I had explored. All right. Um, so we've got two probes here. And then we're going to have to sit in our system, which they're not going to like very much. But we need to get this stuff explored, and I don't really think they have any ships yet to kick us out. But I would say we're probably going to need to uh, going to need to build a military before too long, um, because uh, our expansion opportunities are limited, and uh, these guys are going to be unhappy if we keep sending ships down into their area. Enemy detected. Where are you at? Show location. Yeah. Well, I would expect an enemy to be detected there. We're hiding out in somebody else's system. All right, this should get us that fifth anomaly, which hopefully will get us some uh, bonus points. And also, by building a military, we could just like take over these, uh, take over those uh, uh, minor civilizations. I don't know why we're not getting... Shouldn't we have gotten the uh, completed quest thing for studying these anomalies? So, I could analyze the planet, get minus 10 science per turn, increase the scientist's political ideology, and find a technology. So I guess I'd lose 100 science, but I'd get a free technology, and I don't think most sciences are more than 100. This science costs 173, so okay, that sounds like a good deal. I mean, I won't get to choose what tech it is, but I'm going to want all of them anyways, right? Um, so, let's do it. Confirm. Done. Five turns till we get that technology. It's just going to take us forever. New luxury resource, Transvine. Great. Enemy detected. Whoops. Show location. I don't really see the enemy here, though. Is it that ship that's on its way in? Like, somehow that counts as an enemy detected? I don't know. Let's, uh, I think there's only one more anomaly to scan here, so we can scan this and, and move along. All right, 25 influence. Sort of, sort of useful, I guess. 
Uh, now, if I were to go here, I would probably have to fight those Reavers. So let's uh, let's go that away. Because we cannot fight anybody. Ah, look at that. Great. A system we can just investigate. I suppose we could send our colony ships down through there and, and then have kind of a split up colony, but that's no fun. And it makes it difficult to do your trade. Um, oh. So we can already, if we would like to, we can... We can uh, do, oh, I don't think we can do gene splicing quite yet. Right. Um, we need to get, I guess, one more Zavali? You need to reach a number of two population to perform this action. So once we have two, two Zavali in our population, we can, uh, we can splice them in, and then that'll give us plus two science and plus one happiness on each of our uh, Horatios. So, uh, you know, we'll definitely want to do that. Now, do we just get those guys because we're like friendly with their... Do they send their people from the, their planets or something? I don't quite understand how we get the uh, minor civilizations in. And uh, what's going on with that quest that... Um, So it says we've only explored one out of five. But we've explored, like, a ton of them. It's weird. We've definitely explored more than five. Maybe the ones that we explored were not atmospheric. Maybe they were, like, ground-based or something? Ecologists, official support. Oh, oh, next step. There you go. It's a dictatorship. I don't think there's really going to be too much of a challenge here. Yeah, exactly. With this government type, the selected political party wins and all of the others are ignored. Good, finish. Faction assimilated by Unknown Empire. The pilgrims on Kuma have been assimilated. And, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. That's why I didn't bother putting any political points into their thingy. But we will... Hey! No uh, no anomalies here? I could have swore there would be. Guess not. All right, well, let's keep on... Uh, keep on... Uh, set the controls for the heart of the sun. Over here, we should have a couple in Gurkha. But uh, Gurkha is a dead end, unfortunately. So it is going to... Oh, I see. So that one's a life form. Got it. And another life form. We are finding a lot of life forms, but not very many atmospheric curiosities, which is too bad. Oh, well. And... Let's send some probes out. So we've kind of, kind of, like, this guy going back this way, it's going to take him forever. He's never going to get a, well, I mean, I guess he could get ahead eventually. I could try to send him through here, but once I try to, like, there's pirates in, in those areas, and that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, I'm, I've already looked at that, thank you. Let's, uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, okay, good. So we did finish our colony ship, so there's some, some uh, bright news in our, uh, in our day here. Um, we're uh, making progress in filling up our planet here. Um, we can uh, go ahead and colonize this one if we wanted to. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, because we, uh, we get a bonus per planet, right? Um, uh, to our food, so we may as well have another uh, planet colonized. And uh, we'll go ahead and head out of there. Um, and where are we going to send our new ship to? Well, that's a good question. I believe we were going to send it to Guinea. And what does Guinea have going on? Does it have a planet that we legitimately want to colonize? Medium step. Um, that's not like a great system. 
And it's not like it would stop them from going through us. On the other hand, we have huge lava and tiny arid. And I'm pretty sure that neither of those are, are in our preferred uh, colonization category. We could definitely lock down this one. We do have ash as a legit cat uh, category of planet. We could even like skip over here to Alcyon. Oh, no, no, that one's got the, yeah, we could try to grab Gurkha. Of course, then we'd have to go through that star every time we, uh, every time we try to pass something through. I think we're actually just gonna go ahead and send it to uh, Othero. And uh, yeah, cause like setting up this bottleneck here is not really going to stop. Uh, it would probably stop these guys from colonizing Ita, but it wouldn't like they could just send someone in here to colonize Guinea and uh, I'd rather grab Othero and uh, not that I'm really worried about it locked being locked down but I don't know it's what we're gonna do um, and that's gonna be it for this episode so I hope you guys are having fun watching uh, this series uh, if you are why don't you try leaving me a comment I will name something after you we've got systems planets ships ship types all sorts of stuff to name after people it'll be really exciting just leave me a comment and you will be on that list um i thank you very much for subscribing i'm so lucky to have such a great group of subscribers we had a ton of fun on the live stream that i did today with rimworld um I, I live stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so check that out if you're interested in that, and if you're not, that's cool. I don't think I'd want to sit and watch somebody do that, but lots of people do. We have lots of fun talking and laughing. It's a good time. Um, uh, thanks, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!